All right, tonight's target is the Wizard Nebula, also known as NGC 7380. And I'm using the ASI 1600mm monochrome cooled camera. See, I got the camera down to minus 20C, cool down. Uh, running Sequence Generator Pro and plate solving worked excellent on the first go it picked a guide star automatically went to the target found it and this one I'm doing all narrow band filters uh, you can see right here I'm using HA hydrogen alpha oxygen 3 and sulfur using those three filters tonight I'm doing 180 second exposures 10 each just trying this one out and so far I got uh, another 51 minutes remaining on this target and that's the spe this specs right here as far as what's coming through on the the oxygen filter right now. Let me show you what the hydrogen alpha was a little bit better. If I go back a few more frames on here. Yeah, here's a hydrogen alpha. Let me stretch it. Let's do a stretch medium. You see the nebula right here. Nebulosity right here for the oh, another frame just came down. Let me go back to hydrogen. There's still oxygen right here. Right, here's hydrogen alpha right here. Let me stretch too high. And you see the nebula is right here. Now still trying to figure out how to do the settings as far as exposures, like as far as um, some of the gain settings. I'm still new to that with this camera. But um, you can still see it's, this camera has very low read noise. So everything is really coming out a lot better with this kind of camera. Monochrome. A lot more detail. I just love how Sequence Generator Pro would just pick everything once you type the target in and the telescope will automatically slew to it, automatically pick a guide star and start guiding and taking images. It is That is very nice how it's automated. I can sit right here in the house after I pull a line and do one star alignment. That's all I do with the telescope so it starts guiding a little bit, you know, starts tracking, guiding and tracking. Then I just go and just pick a target and everything just is fully automated. And here's my guiding right now. My numbers right here. Declination is 0.42, which is always pretty good. My right ascension, RA, is still always around 1 point something. Sometimes it dips down to like in the 80s, but then it goes back up a little bit. But it might just be the AVX mount. And the Lope Star X2 guide camera always picks a nice star, even though it doesn't matter how dim it is. And that's the bullseye target, still moving around. That Lobe Star, that's a great guy can for my area because I'm I got a lot of light pollution, so it's great for this area. So I'm we'll gonna see how this stuff all works out tonight with these images, and we just go from there. Hopefully, I could um, get Pixin in sight to do my uh, post processing and stacking. I already made uh, I have a dark library, I have a bias library, and a flats library already, and I use the flats generator on uh, this built into Sequence Generator Pro. Yeah, the uh, Flats Calibration Wizard, I use that, and I use the uh, Flat Wizard, and I use the white t-shirt method, and everything just works out with that way. Just The automation is so nice. I like how you can still see your guide graph right here while Sequence Generator Pro is still open, so if you got any crazy warnings, or you can see like the scale is moving around. And when this sequence is over, I'm going to try, let me view this right here. When this one's finished, I'm going to enable this one, NGC 6946, which is the Fireworks Galaxy. That one, if I enable it, it should automatically move on to that target and start moving on down. Like that one, I already have preset set up for um, luminance right here. Luminance, red, green, and blue filters, and two-minute exposures. I'm doing 20 of them. So if, like, if I was to enable it right now, you can see this stuff is going to run... It says time remaining another three hours and 28 minutes. So once I enable it, it's going to 
I don't run until almost four o'clock in the morning. It's like twelve o'clock right now. So that's one good thing. It, automation will just continue to run. I have the dew heaters on the telescope keeping the dew off and it just everything will run by itself. I can go to bed, wake up in the morning, everything is finished. And then you just start processing your data. So we're gonna see how this stuff comes out. Oh here's a hydrogen no oxygen here, yeah, oxygen right here. If I show you this one, you can see how the filter really doesn't show the nebulosity this time. It's just mainly little small details, but it combines all that stuff when you do your stacking and everything, so everything is needed. But anyway, let me get off and let's see how stuff comes out later on. Okay, I'm on my last frame right here. Frame 10, and we're down to 17 seconds left. Let's see if the sequence would automatically go down to the next target and sequence and if everything was slew automatically. We're about to find out. Never tried this before. So here we go. Let's see what happens. All right. Image slewing to target. All right, it's the telescope is moving. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, there we go. We did. All right, must have found something. Setting filter. Filter is set. All right, trying to plate solve. I don't know. We'll see if it looks like it's making progress. We'll see what's going to happen. Plate match found. Validating. Okay. Resuming auto gather. All right. Let's see what happens here. Let me come down and check HD2. Oh, look, it found another guide star automatically, and it's starting to guide automatically. Here are my numbers right here. Automatically selected its own guide star. And now we're starting frame one for 180 seconds, well, 120 seconds on Frame one is luminance filter, two minutes. So that is, that's real nice right there. Automatically moved telescope to another target, picked a guide star, started plate solving, matched the images and everything with the star database, and looks like everything is running again. And so this process is gonna take exactly two hours and 39 minutes to complete. So I'm gonna to go to bed and set my alarm to wake up about almost two hours and 40 minutes from now. And I can go outside and take the telescope back in. Everything should be done. Hopefully we don't have any crazy clouds to block my images, but I'll, that's it, looks like it's working. Before I go to bed, I wanna see what this first image looks like. Downloading. All right, let's see what it looks like on here, this galaxy. We'll stretch it medium. It's supposed to be right here. Kind of hard to see it. But this is supposed to be the galaxy right here. You can see part of the arms a little bit. Let me stretch a little bit higher. You can see it a little bit. I mean, this is the luminance filter, but we'll see how it comes out.